maybe what you want to do is share your computer screen with your big board. So you want to look at whatever's on your computer screen up here, like a projector. So this is how we're going to go about doing it this time. There are a couple of different options. You can hardwire your computer in using the HDMI cord, or you can use an app called eShare. We're going to start hardwiring it in. Your, your touchscreen came with two cords. One is an HDMI cord, one end would go into your computer and the other into the back of the board, and one is a USB touch um, cord. This end that looks like it went into a printer is going to go into the board. The other side is a USB and that will go right into your computer. I'm gonna go ahead and connect my computer. The USB, you, know, you can put it in any USB port and the HDMI into the HDMI port in my computer. And if I take these ends and go to the back of my display or the front of my display, because there are ports here too, I'm going to insert the HDMI. And then so that I can use the touch feature, I am going to insert the touch USB. There are other ports in the back of your board and you may find them a lot more convenient when you're teaching so you don't have cords in the front of your device. Just for ease sake, I put it in. Now it's a touch screen computer or I'm operating my computer by touch screen here. This is what my desktop looks like on my computer. So if I open Google Chrome, it comes up on my screen here. I can use my finger to operate anything I need to here. If I touch up here and need to type, I have no way of typing on this. So what I'll need to do is go to the computer and operate it or put my computer in tablet mode. Let's just say I went to my computer and we went to play video. Just I typed it in here, it came up here. If I put my computer in tablet mode, then I could operate the um, keyboard up here. But I may have no need for that. One wonderful thing here is I can write over the top of this. If I pick up my pen and start playing with it, I'll think, no, no, I can't write on the top of this. You need to go to your menu here on the side and you will choose the right little piece of paper with a pen, a pencil on it. Once I do that, I can write over the top. Now, if I wanna change the color, it's pretty much the same menu as it was on the S right. Very similar anyway. So I can choose what color I want to write in. I can choose the thickness of my pen. I can choose how my thick pen operates, but I don't get the erase option. Now I have a couple of different options that appear here. If I click on here on the board, it looks like a board, I will jump back to my s right board. And I don't really want to do that right now. If I click on the arrow, my writing disappears for the time being, and now it allows me to go back and click on things. New tab. Now I can click again. If I click on that arrow again, my writing returns. If I want to get rid of that, I go to the trash and say, okay, or I can erase using my hand or undo button. While I'm in the right mode, I can't click on anything. So again, I have to go to my arrow and then I can click once again. I can use my pen to click 
or I can use my finger. It doesn't matter. So that's one way to share your screen. In the next video, I'm going to talk about using an app called eShare to share your screen.